Today, we're going to calibrate the Olympus Epic 1000i for an angle beam test using a uh, two and a quarter megahertz half-inch transducer with a 45 degree carbon steel wedge. And before you calibrate, make sure that you couple your transducer to your wedge. The first thing you want to do is get a cal block and this is a IIW type 2 with the, with the 4 and the 2 inch um, radius. So the first thing you want to do is come to your basic display. You want to make sure that your velocity is set for carbon steel. In this case it's a uh, 0.1269 inches per microsecond. Turn your zero to zero. Turn your range to five inches. Set your pulser to 475 volts. It's a pulse echo. Square wave. And for two and a quarter, we use 2.27 megahertz. For the receiver, full rectification, zero rejection, and a filter of 0.5 to 4. On your trig setting, change your angle to 45 degrees, because that's the wedge that I'm using. Thickness, I'm going to change that to uh, 1 inch, even though that's not that important. In the X value, I'm going to leave that at zero. Uh, that X value is the measurement from the front of the wedge to the beam index point. Curve surface correction turned off. Now, the first thing you want to do is couple your transducer to your wedge and find your beam index point. Turn the gain down some so I can see that reflector. And what's nice about this unit, you can use the peak memory and you can peak your signal. And that right there is your beam index point where the maximum energy is being received. Compare that to the zero on the block, to the zero on your wedge. That is your beam index point. And the next step is to measure your angle. Make sure that you indeed are using that your wedge is a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> the block has markings on it. 45, 30 to 60 degrees. This is a 45. Point the transducer in the direction of the large hole. Peak your signal. And once your signal is peaked, look where the marking on your wedge lines up with the block. And in this case, it lines up at 45 degrees exactly. So now we're ready to calibrate. Come back over here. Find your two and four inch radius. Let's peak that. My signal is peaked right there. I'm going to take my gate and turn down the width. So I'll just capture that two inch radius. Do second function auto 80. This will take your amplitude to 80% full screen height. Go to auto cal. And the first thing you want to do is calibrate your zero. You're going to tell the system from an initial pulse to that first two inch radius that is two inches. 
that's called calibrating your zero. What is that, two inches? Hit the continue. Move your gate over to the four inch radius. Take it 8% full screen height. Cal your velocity. Telling the system that that's a four inch uh, sound path. There it is. Calculate. And now you calibrated. It will automatically change your zero in your velocity to come up with the correct reading. In this case, we're reading four inches on the four inch radius and two inch sound path to the two inch radius.